house of the Lord. How many of you glad to be here this morning? How, what can we clap your hands for Jesus? Come on, lift up your voice, your Savior. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. And exalt, let's exalt his name together. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. I said, what a magnificent God we serve. Hallelujah. He woke us up this morning. Hallelujah. He started us on our way. He gave us activity of our live. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We do thank God. Amen. For our chief apostle. Amen. Amen. Chief apostle, doctor. Children of Colton. Amen. And our deputy pastor, Chardonnay L. Colton. We thank God for them. Amen. Our leaders here in the city of Zion. Amen. And who God is calling them to be. Amen. They're back on this side of the world with us, and we're grateful for that. Amen. On this morning. Amen. We thank God for our founders being here today. Amen. The Honorable Senior Bishop, MacArthur Colton. Hallelujah. The Evangelist Colton. We thank God for them. Amen. I want to take it away. Hallelujah. And responsible for our ministry today. We thank God for them. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Minister Banks. Amen. Glory to God, Pastor Carter, each of you in your respective places. Amen. We thank you. Amen. For making the city of Zion the church of your choice on today. Hallelujah. Let's go to Proverbs, the sixth chapter. Amen. Beginning at the 16th verse and reading up until the 19th verse. Amen. And reading along in unison. Amen. This morning. Hallelujah. Knowing that whatever you put in, hallelujah, we're bound to get something out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs, the sixth chapter. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that divides wicked imagination. Feet that be swift and run into mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 4, beginning at verse 10 and reading its entirety. And the word of the Lord says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him, amen, that which he regret, I requested, amen. Let's receive the voice of the Zion as they come. Look at somebody and tell them it's good to see you in the house of the Lord this morning.
September the 2nd is recorded in heaven. I don't know, amen, what those mean to you, but I do know this. I do know that the Lord said it's over and it's broken. The Lord said the wounds, you wounded, I promise you, if you come here right now, sir, I feel the Holy Ghost. God is fit to free you today. God is fit to free you. God is fit to free you. God is fit to free you. God is about to free you. Hallelujah. The Lord has been dealing with me about some things. Stand right now. Lift your hands up right now. And what I want you to do, what I want you to do is I want you to say yes to the Lord. Tell him yes. Say, Lord, I'm yours. Tell him whatever you want to do in my life, you can do it. Lord, I'm yours. The Lord told me today that he's seen the hurt. He's seen the pain, the frustration. There is a weight. There is a weight. There is a weight. There is a weight that you carry, and you carry this weight long enough. You 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 try to be strong, amen, praise God. And I'm looking at this thing that, that grips you, amen, praise God. That there's a thing that hits your family at an early age. I'm looking at you, amen, praise God, and that keeps popping back. I'm looking at about the age of 22, 23. I don't know what transpired in your family but the enemy tried to cause a major separation between you your mother your siblings i don't know something happened and i'm looking in the spirit and it's almost like miles and distance i'm seeing miles i'm seeing distance that had to be placed for a season but then the lord allowed uh hey glory to god a reconnection am i at liberty to prophesy Am I ain't living to tell you what the Lord is showing me? And the Lord showed me the way it's almost like you took off and you found yourself on a journey. And they people applauded your gift, but they never recognized your hurt. People applauded your gift, but they never saw your true identity. But I see it again. I see it in lights. The Lord told me to tell you that it's written in heaven, amen, that February the 16th was supposed to be a day, amen, praise God, that changed your life, amen, praise God, forever. What is that to you, amen? That your birthday and I keep saying September the 2nd what is that and it's your wife's birthday this is what the Lord is showing me the Lord said 9-11 that 9-11 which is today amen is a indication I don't know why but the Lord is showing me that you also will be delivered from the spirit of fear for the Lord said that fear amen has sidetracked you and blocked you amen because you're moving forward but there's still a fear for the Lord said that August the 4th amen was never supposed to be a day of rejection but it was supposed to be a day that the world received you. For the Lord would say unto you, amen, praise God, hallelujah, and I know that day is gone, amen, and we're, what is this, September, amen, we're in September right now, amen, but I see the clock being rewind, amen, and going back to August 4th, that was the thing that you were supposed to have received, amen, praise
praise God, but the Lord said at three, amen, what is it, uh, amen, the last day of the year is the 31st, the Lord said three days, amen, before the 31st, you're going to see a mind-blowing breakthrough like never before, I'm looking at December 28th, and the Lord told me to tell you to get ready, because God said it's over, you will walk in fear no more, you will walk in torment no more, Today I deliver you and I free your household. I need somebody to give God the glory. It's over. It's over. I prophesy to you that it is over. The brokenness, the hurt, the rejection, the pain is over. And what tried to kill you, I kill it by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's a spirit that wants to destroy. What's the spirit of God? Come here a minute. Come here a minute. Come here a minute. The Lord said that the turbulence was not for you. The hit was not for you. The hit was okay. The hit was not for you. I don't know. The hit was not for you. 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 I'll say it again. The hit was not for you. The hit was not for you. The hit was not for you. Amen. The hit, I'm looking at it in the, in the spirit. The hit was not for you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Maybe, hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. You'll never be saved. It was recorded. It was meant for you to be born, sir. I keep saying it again, February 16th. Hallelujah. But I'm somewhat conflicted because I see February the 17th. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. And I also see February the 28th. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That was a hit out. Hallelujah. On February the 28th. Matter of fact, and, and, and the Holy Ghost just said the hit is not only on February walls, but it still is. I, I see a young man running and trying to get away. Amen. But I see two cars kind of hemming it in. Amen. But the Lord said, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That I freed you to free him. Hallelujah, Jesus. I delivered you to deliver him. And the Lord told me to tell you that even fear that tried to creep in no longer. For I have not given you the spirit of fear, but I've given you power, love, and a sound mindset the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know what it is, but I see the hit, but I break the hit in Jesus' name. I need somebody to rejoice in the Lord. If, if I, I promise you I got plenty of words, but I... I feel deliverance in this house today. I feel deliverance in this house today. Brother James, come here and read this for me. Come here and read this. Give me a mic, make sure I don't get it. Come, come here. Come here, come here, stand right there. Come here, read that for me. There is no fear in love. First John 4 and 8. Four and eight. Uh huh. There is no fear in love. There's no fear in love. A perfect love. For what type of love? Perfect love. Perfect love. Cast it out fear. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Perfect love cast out fear. Go ahead. Because fear has torment. Because fear has what? Torment. Torment. Uh huh. He that feareth. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. The Lord told me to tell you. I, I know that's for the people, but the Lord told me to have you to read that for a reason. Because here's the thing, you're very bold. And when I say bold, you're not afraid, but yet you're somewhat fearful. But this is what the Lord is showing me. The Lord is showing me that there is a major opportunity that is about to be laid out before you. I'm looking in the spirit right now. I, I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing, amen, praise God. By the time you get to April, the second week in April of next year, watch what I tell you. That would be a major, the first week, the Lord said, I don't know, I see the first week, 
Amen. Praise God. I'm looking at, amen. Praise God. Amen. Around the third and the fourth. Amen. Praise God. But then the Lord said, tell him eight days after that will be the manifestation, which will be the 14th. The Lord said, that's going to be the fourth manifestation of what he getting ready to do for you. This is what the Lord told me today. The Lord said that there's a must that you be free in every area like no before. I don't know. I, and let me tell y'all something. It hurts me. It hurts me sometimes because in this season, I'm close to nobody. In this season, God has literally pulled me away from everybody. My wife will tell you, a, a, a Pastor B, you're at my house. Amen. You, you, you can testify. Amen. Praise God. There's not a crowd of people in and out of my house. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm very funny. Amen. Praise God. And it hurts me because I desire to have, and don't get me wrong, I love my family, but they'll tell you, there are times where, amen, I pull intentionally so three because I never ever want to stand and prophesy to you based on my emotions or what I know to you. It's causing me right now to be who God called me to be. And I had to make a decision. Either I'm going to do it God's way, amen, or I'm going to do it y'all's way. Let me tell you something. 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 It's over. It is over. It is over. It is over. You'll never ever walk in fear again. You'll never ever walk in fear. And that's what God spoke to me about 3 o'clock this morning. I, my wife would tell you, I can count on three fingers the amount of sleep that I've had. Amen. Praise God. And I know why to hit. I thought it was a physical thing keeping me woke. But God began to minister to me. Amen. And praise God and talk to me about moving from fear to faith. You understand? And I have the message prepared. Amen. From fear to faith. I have the message prepared. But now I'm seeing it's not a message, but it is an event that will take place today. Amen. We're moving from fear to faith. We will never ever walk in fear anymore. We're getting out of the boat and we will that we're getting out of the boat and we will not try. Come on. Come on. torment. There's about 28 of you in here. You've been tormented by fear. You really don't want to admit that you've been afraid, but you, you're like me. You have been afraid because this is two things. There are two things that bring us fear. And I'm almost done. There are two things that creates fear. The known and the unknown. The known created fear because the last marriage failed. The last business didn't work. The last ministry let you down. Y'all understand? But because of what I know, my, my past said, don't do it no more because it failed the last time. Now, there's a whole other level of fear of what I don't know. You want me to get out of this boat and walk on water. You want me to actually get in the fire and trust you not to allow the fire to burn me up. Fear of the unknown, but right now, through the power of the Holy Ghost, the Lord free you from the fear of the known and the unknown. Why I need you to receive it right now. The way don't be to lay hands on you. The way don't be to prophesy to you. When I take my hands off you, the Spirit of the Lord is going to come on you. You're going to begin to flow in the Spirit, even in the days to come. And you're going to prophesy. You're going to see dreams, visions. And watch what I tell you. I need somebody to just yield to the Holy Ghost right now. I need somebody to yield to the Holy Ghost. They said, worship God. Make it about God. Come on, make it about God. Come on. I need you to make it all about God. I need you to make it all about God. 
you had to be here today. You had to be here today. I talk about the fear of the known and the fear of the unknown. But in all actuality, you are afraid of both of them. Spirit of fear have taught me to concerning the known. There's some things that you've encountered and there's some things that you've gone through that has you in a place to where you know you need to move forward but you're afraid to let go. The Lord told me to tell you that until you let go, you will never ever receive what he has in store for you. I'm looking in the spirit right now and I see that there is a must that you be healed, delivered, and set free today. I serve notice on that spirit that has tormented you that it cannot live in you any longer. I speak to that spirit that lies dormant and wait on an opportunity to assassinate who you really are. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you, I don't know what you're going through or what you're dealing with. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you that this is not the way the story is going to end. Your life story is about to be rewritten. And you are about to become that woman of God that God has ordained and predestined you to be. And everything that needs to be broken off of your life, I break it right now. I break it right now to the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. There it is. There it is. Release it. Let it go. Go on and let it go. You don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to be ashamed. Go on and let it go right now. There it is. There it is. There you go. That's your breakthrough, young lady. That's your breakthrough. That's your breakthrough right there. There it is. 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 It's open. I end it this same. I end it right now. I end it right now. I end it right now. I need intercessors interceding. I need intercessors interceding. There you go. Come on. Come on. I need, I need people praying. This is your season of investments and healthy returns. Investments and healthy returns. The Lord said that he's about to amaze you and your wife in this season. The Lord said this has been a practice run. I see three major promotions. The Lord said divine favor is upon you and your wife. I see your wife sitting in a meeting. I see a table almost like a conference table. And the next promotion, every promotion that has hit her life has come from God. But this is next. You watch what I tell you. I'm watching it. There's a ministry locked up in you and in your wife. I see teaching. I see you, your wife teaching, training, and equipping. It's going to be a major sacrifice. I don't know, it's almost like a week. It's almost like she'll have to go away for like a week. Stop telling her about the I see three major promotions about to hit your household. 
But I heard the Lord say that I want to hold you, son. I want to hold you. I heard the Lord say that I would no longer share you. I want to own you. I want to possess you. I want to think through your mind. I want to speak through your mouth. The Lord free you. I need some intercessors and worshipers. I need two groups today. I need two groups of people today. I need a group of intercessors and I need a group of worshipers. If we'll do that, God will shift us. You'll never visit that place again. You moved. You moved from fear to torment. You moved from fear. And fear brought torment. You've been on a journey. But you'll never be tormented again. What tormented you, I now torment you. You watch what I tell you. It's because of this prophetic gift that is in you. That's what the fight. You've been fighting just to keep your sanity. I can't even call it a nervous breakdown. I can't even call it anxiety. I'm looking at it. The depression, the frustration. And it, it affected your husband, it affected your children, but it affected none like it affected you. Because this thing was designed to abort the gift. It was designed. You were supposed to abort the gift. That's what this fight on your mind has been about. But today, your mind will never again do what it has done because today the Lord gives you a mental transplant. He takes out your mind and replaces it with his. Now, now, perfect peace. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. The mind that is stayed on him. Perfect peace. There it is. There you go. 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 The burden be lifted into your be destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, at the climax of this meeting, I need you to lift your hands. Don't clap them right now, just lift them. Lift those hands. I take authority right now. There you go. Spirit of fear, spirit of torment. You can't reside here. I already spoke it. Sister, pray for your heal. You delivered and you made free. I just heard the Holy Ghost say, tell my daughter that she's going to live to see it happen. The enemy want to kill you before the promise comes. But today, the Lord don't heal you, he make you whole. And not only do he make you whole, but right now through the power of the Holy Ghost, the Lord baptize you and fill you all over again. Fresh oil. Fire. Fresh oil. Fresh fire. Right there in the name of Jesus. There you go. 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 The Lord feel you all over again. The Lord feel you all over. Right there. All over again. Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Oh, come on, worship. Pull on God. Don't pull on me. Pull on God. There you go. Pull on God. Pull on God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pull on God. 
Pull on God. Pull on God. Pull on him. Pull on him. Pull on him. Don't settle. Pull on him. Pull on him. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. Holy Ghost say, don't settle. Holy Ghost say, don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. Pull on God. Pull on. Come on, worship God all over this building. Worship God. I may not touch you, but if you worship God, he'll touch you. Right where you are. Right where you are. Yeah, yeah, come on, say that. Say that. Well, I need you. You change your spirit and just come on, God. Say that. That's 
sick. Come on, let him have you. Come on, let him have you. I'm yours, Lord. All I need is you. All I want is you. I'm yours, Lord. I'm yours. Save me right now. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Save me right now. Save me right now. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Save me right now. Fill me with the Holy Ghost right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Be saved and be filled today. I commend every one of you. Be saved and be filled. 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 Holy Ghost and fire. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on, ministers. Come on. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is here. 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 Oh, glory to God. The enemy wants to kill you. And when I say you, I'm talking about the real you. I'm not talking about this shell. I'm talking about the real you, the spirit you. The spirit you. God has amazed you time and time again. Time and time again, he showed you his greatness. When you're behind time, that's it. Come on. You behind time, you behind time, you behind time. And I know what it is, it's because of fear. It's because of fear. But I promise you, when you leave here today, you're gonna be that woman of God, and you're gonna face head on your fears, and you're gonna be that woman of God that God has called you to be. Amen, for you're a very brilliant woman. Amen, but you've been locked up in a cave, and people have looked at you and said, oh, you got it going on, and you got this, and you got that, and you ain't got nothing to worry about. But they don't know this war, amen, and this battle that you have been faced with. But today, not I, but the Lord God, the Lord God free you, and the Lord God save you, and the Lord God fill you all over again. Ha! So go. Play my katana bahusha. Yes. Yes, that's it. Yes, yes. That's it. Come on, baby. Yes, that's it. Let him have you. Let him have you. I'm yours, Lord. 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 I'm yours. I'm yours. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let him have you. Let him have you. Come on. Come on. Let him have you. In the name of Jesus, the devil is alive. The devil is alive. I command the Holy Ghost to hit this altar. I command the Holy Ghost, just as Elijah called fire down from heaven. I call the Holy Ghost to overtake this altar now. I command every one of you, I command every one of you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled. There you go. Come on, be filled. There you go, be filled. There you go, be filled. Be filled. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, come on, there you go, come on, come on, there you go. Just lay your head, Lord. Yeah, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's it, hallelujah. There you go. Shabba, 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 shabba. There you go, there you go, there you go, hallelujah. There you go, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's it, that's it, hallelujah. Come on, break it, come on, break it. Come on, preachers. Let's break it. There you go. There you go. Break it. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, worship. All over this building begin to worship God. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost here. Feel the Holy Ghost here. Give the Lord 
said, tell my people I'm here to free them. I'm here to free them. I'm here to heal them. I'm here to deliver them. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the glory. Yes, Lord. You're so special. 
Yes, in our sight of God. Yes, Lord. I want you to understand yes, Lord. that you're so special in the house of God. Yes, Lord. And God's plan for your life God. is far bigger and greater than anything that you've encountered. Yes, Lord. You watch what I tell you. God is taking you into a season of being renewed, yes, Lord. restored, refreshed. I don't know where you came from, but young lady, I know where you're going. You're going up, and you'll never again come down. Never again will you come down. Things that the enemy has done to you, after the day, he won't be able to do it to you. You watch what I tell you. Matter of fact, I speak over your life right now. And everything that needs to be ended, I end it by the authority of the Holy Ghost. You will not be spiritually crippled, spiritually handicapped, not knowing whether you're going to the left or to the right. But you're going to be firm in your commitment to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's over. This is a new day. And God is doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's it right there. That's your deliverance today. I promise you the hand of God is on you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we worship God? Just lift your hands if you will. We won't clap them right now, but just we'll clap them in a moment. But right now, I just want you to just reverence God. Let's reverence God. I feel it. It's, it's like a, a glory cloud. There's a different type of anointing that has overtaken this ministry. I don't know if anyone else has noticed it. But over the course of the last few months, there's a different type of anointing. There will be another meeting. Preacher, there will be another meeting concerning your business. People are discussing you. Thank you, Lord. Right now, as I speak, I see a group of wealthy men that are discussing your name. Is among the lips of people that are getting ready to finance your dream with no strings attached. It'll be at my word. You watch what I tell you. You'll never have to chase after the blessing. It'll always find you. When they finish discussing you, nigga, I see them walking through the doors. Hush, <laughs> said not only will they know you but through you they'll know him he said not be not ashamed to share your faith be not ashamed to share your testimony hallelujah the heart of the king is in his hand Don't ever be afraid to trust your gift. 
There's a different type of anointing that has come upon you. And it's desiring to take you completely over. Two things that will be seen before this year. People will see a different caliber of anointing. And they will see wealth and riches laid at your feet. For the Lord says, this is the hour that I've chosen to exalt you. Proverbs 29 and 25. Proverbs 29 the fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. That word safe in the Hebrew means exalted. You no longer have to be fearful of man. The fear of man takes you down, but the fear of the Lord takes you up. And today, I say you're shifting to God. in this season that you have personal intercessors. The intercessors and the travailers. I need you to understand something. Prophetess. I need you to understand something. I need you to understand that hell has released its best demons to hinder you from being who you was born to be. But as I lay hands on the woman of God, the Lord told me to tell you to gather the intercessors. There must be a meeting here at 133 Dow Road, there must be a gathering, a meeting, a training, a perfecting of the intercessors. And the Lord told me that he's going to use you to train, to equip the intercessors. That's what's going on even with your body. It's not natural, but it's supernatural. But today I end it. And the Holy Ghost breathe upon you yes, as you start this journey. As you start this journey. Ha! Shabbat. As you start this journey. Because where we're going, we must have true intercessors yes, and travailers that don't visit prayer, but they live in prayer. And today I baptize you for that assignment. Shabbat. Shabbat. Every organ get in line. Every bone get in line. Red, blood cell, white, but get in line. And I counsel this attack. Get ready to move. You hear me preaching? Get ready to move. Get ready to move. I don't know what that's about, but I just heard that in my spirit. 
And some of them lift your hands in, at the climax of this meeting. It's very vital, guys, that you plug into this 930 prayer. Every Sunday we pray from 930 to 1030. Where we are right now in the spirit is really, really, really vital that we, that we as a ministry corporately live in prayer. Meetings like this is a prime example. You never know when the Holy Ghost is going to show up. You never know when the Lord is going to decide to shift the service. Don't unplug. I don't care what you go through. And I'm not just speaking to you, but I'm speaking to us as a whole. Don't unplug. Don't unplug. Whatever you do, stay plugged in. There's a must in this season. Stay plugged in. Stay plugged in. Stay plugged in. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to hurt you. I'm not caught up in where you going as a woman of God. God is so amazing. God is so amazing. Mark 9 23. I can't believe all things are possible. Yes, Lord. The devil. Yes, Lord. I believe. 